This video was brought to you by Marcus Beal, Elbil Mac, a battery planner, stolen by Camp Power and Beal Componente. Yo, what's up? We are now in the garage, the usual starting point. And behind me here, you see Volkswagen ID7 Pro. This is the rear wheel version with 77 or 82 kilowatt hour battery. And this video, we're gonna do 1000 kilometer challenge. You know, this car charges at 175 kilowatt flat. It should have the same charging curve as the Audi Q4 e-tron we tried recently. So, but it's not as fat as the e-tron. So it should be more efficient, right? Well, we'll see. It's going to be quite wet through the day. So I have prepared the car, charged it 100%, and look, look, look here. Wow, okay, I have so much space in the back. And then look at the front. Oh yeah, the bows is here. <laughs> okay, so we have a big 15 inch screen now. Welcome Tesla Bjorn, oh yeah. It's nice to be back, okay. So let's see, I'll zoom out a bit, you see, uh, the car creates an outline and it claims that we can make it past Jutte Borg, really? Can we actually make it to Speckerud? But okay, 244 kilometers to uh, Hoxtorp. Um, you see here, car scanner uh, claims that we have 75.9 kilowatt hour, okay? And that means we should have a budget of around 300 watt hour per kilometer. Wait, if I did the correction, uh, yeah. Okay, so whatever. So. I think we're going to start in a couple of minutes now, 21.54. Um, okay, let's get ready, and then off we go. All right, we're on the move. We started at uh, 9.55, actually. But you see, uh, now that we're on the motorway here, uh, in comfort mode, the suspension becomes a bit too bouncy. So I actually prefer individual. Fortunately, this car, this press car, has uh, DCC. Well, I don't know what the it's called, but... Uh, but comfort mode is over here and I make it slightly firmer and I think th this is perfect so yeah uh, you can actually make it even softer or even sportier if you like so yeah this is see man is wonderful Are getting close to Hoxtorp and I have decided to skip it. <laughs> Ballsy! Because the car now claims that I can make it to Speckerud directly. What the heck, man? We have done 226 kilometers and we can supposedly go another 69. That's almost 300 kilometers. Let me remind you that it is wet on the road and it is cold outside, four degrees Celsius. And we have headwind. The wind is blowing from the south. You know, the drag coefficient of this ID7 is 0.23. This car slices through the air like, like cheese through butter, man. Oh shit, and it rains, oh man, some places it rains a lot. So yeah, if you click here, and then click here, and then click here, oh man, this is ID software in a nutshell, so clumsy, but at least, the car claims I will arrive at 2%. Oh shit. Um, yeah, and then based on the kilowatt hour remaining and distance, we have roughly 240 watt hour per kilometer budget, 240, 250. But um, say by the bell, bell, let me see, how do I do this? Um, okay, there is a detour here, quite significant the detour, uh, almost 30 uh, kilometers. So there we have to drive slow anyway. So yeah. Hopefully we can make it there. Come on, let's go for it, man. This is so weird to go straight to Speckerud from Yesheim. <laughs> let's see if the ID7 can do it. And this is a new feature I've never seen before in any ID car. It's called Optimize. You have the charging screen, but you see here, it says that right now it is capable of receiving 126 kilowatt. And we are at 24% roughly. So, uh, but then if you preheat, it can then go to 150 kilowatt and it's gonna take 18 minutes. What, 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 kind of, what kind of alien technology is this? You would expect this kind of awesome feature in a Tesla, but in a German car? What? 
and manual preheating. This is insane, man. I bet Volkswagen watched my videos and they got some ideas. <laughs> this is freaking outstanding. So yeah, anyway, um, let's just go deep. Yeah, I want to go deep with Helga. Oh, 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 oh. Look at that. Yeah, Instagram cluster here shows me some stuff. We're now at the detour stretch uh, around Stenung soon. And uh, yeah, so you see, now the car estimates that we will arrive at 2%. Okay, and we are down to 7%. So if we look here, if we go to the charging here and then go to optimize. So as expected, I know how this stuff works. You know, this is exactly how I, I expect it to work. You see, we haven't preheated yet. And uh, uh, the, the potential uh, for uh, speed is going up and up. 155, we're almost at the maximum now. And then, yeah, we can preheat, but I think by the time we go to uh, speculate and we go deep then we should get very close to 175 kilowatts and you see recently i tested the headlights on highland and i was like oh, i mean this matrix is okay yeah you know? and then uh, yesterday i switched from highland after i tested highland headlights i went over to the id7 uh, to uh, do some acceleration and noise test and then i switched on the headlights and i was like wait, wait wait let's wait for that car to pass and you know it's like Boom! I was like, damn! This is so much better than the Highland lights. Oh, the ID lights, as you know it. Oh, it's just, oh, it shines bright, it shines high. You see, this is off and then, poof, it just lights up the forest. Oh, this is so nice, man. <laughs> you don't know how good the German headlights are until you try Tesla or something else, Chinese or Korean, and then you try the German cars and be like, oh yeah, but uh, maybe they don't have night in uh, California. Uh, I just enabled the preheating at 5% left. <laughs> the car allows me to preheat with 5%, huh? <laughs> Korean cars go home. Korean cars, they stop preheating at 17.5%. That is ridiculous. Look here, you can see here, PTC heater uh, is current, but it's now running at roughly four kilowatt, I think. Wow. <laughs> so uh, instead of arriving with uh, 2%, I can arrive with 0% then. Oh yeah. And then here you see that the potential uh, charging thingy, whatever goes up now, 158 kilowatt. We are now at Speculate, 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 Speculate. There's freaking Ragger over there, man. They're making so much noise. Wait, wait, wait. Again? Are you serious? Well, it, it bugged over there and I moved charger to here and then it bugged again. It's charges for just a little bit and then it says that uh, uh, unable to... F huh? What, what's wrong here? What? Huh? What? Okay, we try again now. Um... Yeah, first I tried the old tritium chargers, now I use the new ones here. The one that looks like the, the yeah, at the doll. So hopefully it doesn't bug again, but we had five minutes of uh, uh, some disconnection. But look, look, look at this, 180 kilowatt hour per hour. Oh shit, game over. Uh, okay, okay, anyway, uh, yeah, uh, unfortunately, the Ragre, they stopped playing music now. Okay, so yeah, first, I tried that charger, but prob problematic, tried this charger, troublesome, and then for some reason, I'm not sure what's up with these chargers, but now it works. Uh, look at this. Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah, but wait, I have to hurry. Um, okay, okay, I have to hurry, because uh, I'm planning on not staying here too long. Yeah, I, I, I kind of want to go to Weilbach. It's safe to go to Weilbach. Look, look, oh man, look, oh shit. Don't show me that porn at night, man. This car looks so sexy. Oh yeah, I brought some food, salad, the spinach. But you know, I came back here and I was like, huh? Wait, it's taking 185 kilowatts. Huh? This charger is faster than the Q4 e-tron. Wow. I wonder how long we can get that 180 kilowatts. Okay, at 32%, it starts throttling gently. But look, this must be a bug charges 14 miles each minute. I have not used miles anywhere. It is set to SI system, but somehow there's some Imperial in here. 
とと、とと、とろ、と、とろ。But, but, look at this. I thought this had the same battery as the Q4 e-tron, but it seems like it charges faster. It also charges faster than the, the ID bus. Hmm, what kind of magic is this, man? <laughs> but okay, so I have two choices. Let me go here. Um, oh, okay, go here. You see, I could skip y b i k e Uh, but it's a bit risky. If I skip one bike, I could go straight to Holmstad. Oh shit! Sorry, it's a bit. Uh, yeah, there. I could go there, Holmstad, but then I have to charge to roughly seven, no, no, eighty percent, which will take some time. Well, I thought, but uh, maybe it actually makes sense. Um, I actually don't know the charging curve yet. So either I leave in a couple of minutes or I stay another 10 extra minute. Hmm. Okay, I'll figure out something. All right, we uh, charge for 14 minutes and uh, to 50%. So let's see. You see, the battery has heated up. Do we have any power limit? Nope. Sir, 220 kilowatt. Nope, no power limit. <laughs> uh, unlike the Korean cars. And BMW, you know, once the battery heats up, it's like, eh, we have power limit for the next 10 minutes. Uh, with Volkswagen, no power limit here, huh? We are now at Weilberg, getting 184 kilowatt. Look at that, 500 amp. <laughs> oh yeah. But uh, wait, wait, maybe I should turn off HVAC. Yeah, let's do that. HVAC might be stealing a little bit of uh, power. No, no, no. Um, if we go, no, oh, shit, this, this becomes too bright. Okay, if I go to climate and then off. All right, but look here. So because we have a bigger screen now, there are some extra Icons up here, you can customize it. You can press and hold, and then you can choose whatever you want. And okay, now it becomes too dark. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, but look here. So, um, finish. I have the oh, shit, it becomes too bright. Okay, so if I click here, we get straight to the charging screen, for example. And here you see, yeah, what it looks like now. Okay, nice. And then, okay, let me see. Uh, if I want to go to navigation here, yeah, I need to figure out. So, you know, now. Since we uh, start from yes, we just have to go down here, uh, past Harmstad, and then uh, before Angelholm, here is Harland Sosen. We turn around and then we charge at Harmstad V3 supercharger. You see, it's uh, minus four degrees Celsius, and it's raining a lot nowadays, but I, I cannot uh, choose another day with nicer weather because I have to return this car already on Monday in one and a half days. <laughs> but look, this is more normal weather. In Jöteborg area or w a l b a g we have green grass, uh, no snow, no yeah. But okay. Anyway, let's get over to the gas station, and then oh look at oh look at the light here. Oh nice. Look at that. Look at look at it, man. This is this is this is starting to look like my dream car. <laughs> okay okay. Wow look there, we have Volkswagen logo projected on the ground. I wonder if that's standard or extra. If this is Porsche logo, Porsche, it would be 500 euros extra. Man, I need to point out how much space we have in the center console here. This is wonderful. Look here, I can have my uh, dinner, lunch, whatever food box here. And here, the center console is so big. I shown you in the interior view, but here is more practical. You can have some candy here. You can have a bag of equipment here. And I can even have the storm bag bottle in here, and there's even more space. There's a there's a shelf here I haven't utilized. You see, you can t remove it to free up more space. You just put it there. Like amazing how much space you have here. Wait, how was this order again? I put the, that one in there, kind of not utilizing all the space even. 
and it closes. <laughs> okay, but um, I think I have enough now. You see, we have 66% here. And we are taking, well, you, we don't see any charging speed there, unfortunately. Then we have to go on the screen there, but I can see here, 95 kilowatt. Yeah, I think it's time to leave. Yeah, this time we started at 14%. So 14% to 67% in 18 minutes. Uh, yeah, pretty much good to go now. Well, we're back on the road and man, we are in the 120 zone and the car is still nice and quiet despite that we have wet roads and headwind. So yeah, uh, just like the, the Q4 e-tron, um, this car, as soon as you heat up the battery for the first charging session, then from now on, I don't have to preheat the battery. It stays warm enough, uh, around uh, 20, 25 degrees before the next charging session. Uh, but one minus with this, uh, well, just like other MEB cars, that you know, now we are back on the bouncy comfort mode again. So I have to every time switch over to individual. Okay, I can understand some of the assist systems because the speed warning resets, that's for safety. But the mode here, it should remember that I used individual, but it doesn't. We are now on the concrete surface around Falkenberg and wow, this is some next level shit, man because <laughs> it is very quiet. Okay, uh, the right lane is noisier because here's where the truck hammers, you see? Yeah, but this is highly approved. Okay, we have um, a Continental Viking Contact 7 winter tires. They are softer and they can absorb the noise better. Um, but also, uh, yeah, we have uh, staggered here. So 235.50, uh, 19 inch front and then 255, 45, 19 rear, uh, since this is a rear wheel drive. But um, yeah, nice and quiet. Let me see. Uh, I wonder if the suspension uh, settings can change things. Let me, let me try here. So if I go to uh, mode and I go to custom, okay. If I customize it and go sport, the, the, the roughest possible, does it make it noisier? And then if I slide it all the way to uh, most comfort and the softest. Here's the softest. Nah. Nah, roughly the same. We are now at Harmstad at the V3 supercharger getting... Look at this. Every time now. Wait, maybe I should stop the heater. Well, it actually doesn't matter. It's like a couple of... Uh, one amp maybe, two amps one kilowatt of heating. But every time now we get 185 kilowatt, or oh, you can see here, you can see on this screen here, uh, go to the charging screen. Man, I love the new shortcuts. Yeah, you see, it goes so fast. I have to hurry, man. <laughs> Wait, what happened to the, huh? What? I think we, huh? Wait, where do we see the charging speed? Huh? What the heck happened here? We're supposed to see kilowatt and shit. Uh, 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 okay, okay. Um, you know, um, the Germans, man, they can make really good cars with good sound system, good soundproofing, good driving dynamics, but uh, they don't know how to make software because look here. Oh, no, 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 ignition needs to be switched on. Okay, okay, look here. Uh, if we go here. No, 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 my bad, my bad, my bad. Uh, here, here, here. Look, 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 look. It's, it's still a white car there. <laughs> but wait, wait, is it? Do we have a white car? Let me check here. It's not white. It's blue. <laughs> but man, I, I like the looks of it. Look at this, I'm gonna show you more. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's the front. Oh, look at that. Look. Wait, the eye is, the eye is moving. Yeah, ID light, okay. Well, IQ light, yeah. And you can look on the side profile. Oh man. It looks so badass. But it also, it is also spacious. But they managed to make the styling. Yeah, I can show you that we don't have the aerodynamic rims even. So you see, this car could have been even more efficient if we had that. Yeah. Here you see the back. Oh, 
Okay, anyway, I don't have too much time to adore the looks of the ID7. Oh, it's like, oh, look at me, look at me. Okay, 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 okay. Yeah, here's the charge port, by the way. It opens like this now. You guys have seen this before, maybe. Okay, I have somewhat limited time. I have to go to the gas station, grab some food, pee, and then we're almost good to go. Back to Speculate, Speculate, Speculate. We are now at Speculate, 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 getting 183 kilowatt. It is so consistent that it becomes boring. <laughs> yeah, nothing exciting going on. The battery is nice and warm, you see. Uh, cabin humidity is 35%, really? Well, well see, it's, it's wet outside, so after I come out, uh, come in, then, and then... I get some, yeah, moisture in here, and then, yeah. <laughs> I'm not sure how reliable that one is. But okay, it's oh, over here, man. It's four degrees Celsius. You can see it there. You can see it. Uh, uh, well, it doesn't show here when we are charging. But I have to show it outside, man. I don't know why they start this. Um, they have not Luca over there at Circle K, so you cannot enter it until maybe six in the morning, but it's still just five in the morning at night. But here, look, the progress. Circle K. Yeah, you can see the foundation. They're going to put some chargers here. Nice, nice. It was just grass here for the longest time, and I bet they will put hyperchargers, 300 kilowatt hour per hour chargers over there. It is now 5.54 and um, I'm going to take a nap at Hoekstoy Pier. I'm getting tired. Um, so for safety, we shouldn't proceed driving. Well, we just calculate how long we stay here. And, uh, 5.55 actually, 5.55, yeah. Um, and then we just document that um, we have 57% battery. Actually, no, it's 54. Uh, you can see here, it's 54% when we stop here, okay. Oh, well, okay. It's raining hard over here, whatever. Uh, and then I always bring the storm bag pillow. Yeah. And yeah, the seats here seems to be comfortable for sitting, for driving, but maybe also for taking a nap. Oh, and we have so much space. Uh, and also I have massage. I maybe I can turn on the massage. And I have uh, now put on the air condition now. Oh, can you see it? Oh shit, I hit something here. Uh, yeah, but that will only run for half an hour. So, okay, I set the clock to ring the bell in half an hour. Let's see. Oh man, yeah. I napped here over two hours. <laughs> now I'm awake again. So yeah, so we when we exited over there, it was 5.55, so see, when, two hours and uh, seven minutes now. I'm now topping up back to 55%. So it's going to take a little bit more and then off we go towards, uh, what is this again? Yeah, Inspiria. We're now on the semi-twisty parts around uh, Tarnum and you know, because this is a German car, then the adaptive cruise control and the auto steer just works smooth. It doesn't do any weird shit. It doesn't lose the grip or anything. And also, when we go on some curves, it does not slow down, unlike many Chinese cars. So, uh, yeah, you know, this uh, electro auto was built for Autobahn, and we have nice seats, massage, and oh yeah, I feel like the massage here, it's different than uh, the massage in, uh, for example, uh, ID bus or the, the ID3, ID4. Yeah, it doesn't just have air cushions. It actually feels like there is something pushing towards me, more like the Chinese massage. So it's like you get the best of both worlds. You get good Chinese massage, you get good soundproofing, good comfort, good seat comfort, but you don't get the disadvantages with other brands, Chinese brands. Mm -hmm. 
This is it, the last charging stop. We just happened to be charging at the old Triton chargers, but it works over here. I don't know why at Speculate it failed on two different chargers, the old type, but whatever. So last charging stop, we need to drive only 100 more kilometers and then we'll finish. So yeah, I have to explain to you guys uh, how we will count. So this car over reports distance by 1%. Yeah, needless to say, we preheated the battery slightly, so we are taking maximum speed. Okay, let me show you guys here. You see, um, normally we need to drive over here, and then we end up the like wait wait wait, wait, wait no no no, we end up right there. That we will usually nine and nine right here. But we're gonna drive sixteen extra kilometers to go over to Ionity Dar. I will do a range test right after this. <laughs> I'm running out of time with this car. But anyway, so I calculated that that's two minutes of extra charging. Okay, so we will just deduct for that. No problem. Correct for that. Other than, otherwise, we will just go straight home. And um, if we look now on the trip here, you see this. Okay, I need to explain. This is a bit confusing. Um, normally, I would reset this number, which includes decimals. You can even see it here when you do the swipe here. You see, this includes a decimal. 918 and why is it 913 well there's a good explanation because i was out driving i drove from home to the train station back again that's 5. Point, that's 2.8 kilometers times 2 so 5.6 kilometers so if you take this uh, uh, you see that there, that's 5. Point, uh, something right which means that okay and then the car over port distance by um one uh, percent so normally we have to count to 1010 this time we have to count to 1000 and uh, let's say 1006 then yeah roughly and that would be 1000 kilometer so all right now we just wait and we're almost good to go <laughs> i just have to go to the restroom now there's it the final run well i calculated that we will spend 32 33 percent to finish it and then calculated extra uh, just to get to Ionity but then the charger 40 I charged too much because I had to take a shit at the second gate so that is user error not car error so we will deduct five minutes total of charging convenience thing so yeah um, that means that if you take current time like to make things short you take the current time minus half an hour that is the 1000 kilometer time and uh, we are now currently at 960. Uh, ooh, so after nine hours, we are roughly at 900 kilometers. Okay, the challenge is still on. All right, this is going to be weird. We have to count to 1016. All right, 9992, 999, no, 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 shit, I'm not paying attention. <laughs> we already did 998, shit. 9999, 9999, 1000 times 1020. That means nine hours and 50 minutes. And the consumption was 255. Wow, that is on par with Tesla even. Okay, very impressive. And then let me show you. We ended up with a 19%. Oh shit, we charged too much. Uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we are now at Ionti doing a little charging test. Uh, it actually seems like this battery charges faster than the Q4 Audi e-tron we tried uh, a couple of weeks ago. So it just seems to be newer software. Some people in livestream claims that newer software allows the battery to charge faster, okay? Uh, I, I still wonder how many variants of this 82 kilowatt hour battery uh, Volkswagen operates with because uh, uh, there is one charging curve that is maximum 135 kilowatt there is another charging curve for the ID bus and then we have this and yeah and then some charging curves are maximum 175 kilowatt and then some are maximum 185 <laughs> so okay whatever but um, yeah so 950 how good is it well considering that it was wet uh, the first two hours of the challenge and it was wet throughout the whole challenge pretty much and it was kind of cold then i consider it's a good time and if you look at it uh, if you look at other meb cars uh, they are roughly at 10 hours skoda enya coupe and id5 gtx but they were done during summer especially the coupe i think that one even rapid gated yeah and the consumption also yeah okay yeah but but at least you see these suvs of crossovers they are 
boxy and thirsty, whereas this ID7 it just slices through the air like a knife. So that's why it is not that much affected by cold weather and, uh, and uh, wind. So yeah, uh, of course, uh, compared to other cars, yeah, it might, it's not on the top list, but uh, I think this is pretty good. Yeah, anything faster than 10 hours is good. And what you guys experience today is that um, it goes relatively flat so that you, you don't have to charge to only 50% and then hammer it. You can actually charge to even 70% like I did, but I even felt like 70% was kind of stressing it. Uh, most normal people would probably charge to 90% and then you can go 200, 250 kilometers maybe until you charge uh, another time. So yeah, anyway, and then the uh, rest of the car, it's pretty good. Uh, seats, stereo, you know, interior. Oh, oh, I like it, man. I like it. It seems like the stuff that was not that good with Volkswagen in the past, like cheapish interior, uh, you know, lacking light in the middle screen there for adjusting temperature and stuff. You know, the the cat massage. Now is you know everything has been improved. Uh, the car is not perfect, okay. Don't get me wrong, but still. Still, a really good car. Yeah, that is my impression after this long trip, and I don't feel any butt turk because the seats are good anyway i think that's gonna be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later